Hello, it's Peter Camperman, and today we shall be moving a 70 ton excavator from here in Timworth to Dawlish Beach. Now, these can't be moved by road due to the height of the viaduct in Dawlish, so we've been invited on board by Captain Killick, who's going to show us how it's done. Now the excavator is on board, we have a little issue. The vessel is stuck on the slipway due to the extra weight. A little nudge by the excavator driver and we are off to Dawlish. The vessel also has to be moved in coordination with the harbour master and the associated British ports. These large machinery movements have to take place during high spring tides. This is to protect the vessel from contacting the bottom of the slipway during loading of the machinery. Weather is monitored leading up to the machinery moves. Wind speed, swell and wave height are all added into the pre-planning of the movements and is checked by the captain prior to the plant move. The current plant on Dawlish Beach has been there for over 12 months and after that amount of time, the undercarriage and tracks are starting to show wear and tear with all the salt water and sand. Once this excavator reaches Dawlish Beach, the counterweight will be added and a quick hitch which attaches the bucket. So we've arrived at Dawlish now and we've probably got about another half hour till we land uh, this 70 tonne excavator and um, we're just waiting for the tide to go out a little bit and um, then they shall take this beast off this ship and um, they're going to swap it for some other machinery. So this will be happening all week. They're swapping all the machinery that's been on the beach, and pretty much most of it, and um, yeah, bringing some new stuff in. So then tell us a little bit about um, this vessel. So originally it was built in 1958 as a German tank carrier, uh, built for the River Rhine and Kiel Canal. Uh, she's been modified since then and um, heavily rebuilt into what you see now basically. So she can take uh, cargo of, of this size. Um, she does a lot of cargo runs between the Isles of Scilly uh, and Penzance and other French off islands and stuff like that. Uh, we also do a lot of dive work. Uh, as a dive platform clearing UXO, World War One and World War Two 
bombs from the site for dive works. Amazing. So uh, yeah, she she gets about and she you know she performs well for her age. You know, it's, it's quite deceiving really as she's 63, but she's 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 built heavy and she's well, older she does than well. us then. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> older than me, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, so so what's what's the sort of maximum weight cargo you can have on her? So at the moment, I, I, I'm illegally allowed to carry 50 ton. 50 ton, right. Um, this excavator you can see on the deck that we have here at the moment, she's obviously registered as a 70 ton excavator, but they've taken a counterbalance weight off, plus a few other stability uh, calculations that have been put into place for myself on the vessel, uh, fuels, waters, you know, anything like that, so to counteract, to get, to get this on. Get this, the is, right. this is the, 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 this the is, limit. This for, is the max then. For, okay. a single, for a single load, this is the limit of the, of the boat, yeah. Um, so you've... You've been on this boat for how long? Uh, seven years now, since since uh, the company's bought it, since MTS have bought it. So yeah, I've been yeah the, the sole guy on here, basically taking the boat. So your baby then? It is. It's in and out. I know it inside and out. Yeah, I've been been everywhere in all the spaces. So yeah, I, I know I know her very well. Yeah. Okay, and so um, and what other parts of the world have you been? Uh, I've been I've been all over basically. Um, I recently did a big job up in in uh, Dundee with her for, for the MOD. Um, we did some did some interesting work up there. Uh, France, other places in Europe. Some of it I can't really mention. Okay. Uh, <laughs> off camera, I can, but yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, she gets around. You know, she's she, she, she wherever there's work, she will go basically. So. And you've yeah. you've done most of the seawall project with Network Rail and. Uh, literally from the very beginning, for for all the um, bore holing, um, excavator works, and pre-survey drill holes. From the very beginning of this, uh, I've been here. Yeah. So. And, and what about phase one as well? Yeah, phase, phase one, one, all okay. the way through phase one, um, supplying plant and, and machinery and. Uh, cargo to, to the beach so uh, if they've watched it on our cameras watching plant being delivered it's it's you always there yeah <laughs> indeed yeah the, the, the bigger stuff that they can't fit through underneath a colonnade there it will be delivered by myself yeah okay yeah. amazing well thank you captain for your time no problem
Thank you.